and welcome back. Ooh, stuff. Now then. Given that the brute approached me from the left, I'm beginning to think I actually got good directions and I just should follow them instead of trying to go off on my own initiative. But anyhow, now we're going to hug the right wall. Apparently you can also fo follow the pipes on the ceiling. I'm not sure whether that would provide more or fewer uh, root encounters. Pipes, I hear. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, let's hope this one doesn't get me. Hiding behind this pillar. Go away. It's not supposedly it's easy to hide in here, but I don't I don't find it quite so easy. over. I think it's over now. Oh, good. Well, that's one less brute to contend with. <laughs> now, you can't actually leave them to their deaths in here. I wish my dog would stop nosing me. Makes me jump. You, uh, you can't actually leave, leave the uh, brutes to their death in here. But it requires being very nimble and agile and such, very fast. You have to lead them into the castle. Right here's the second torture room. All right. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. I need the orb piece because right now Daniel's getting terrified. There it is. Now that's two out of three. Or five out of six depending on how you look at things. Only one more. All right. So, time to keep sneaking around, foiling out of Ben's plans. All right. The house is settling, and even it's making me jump. Might be a brood around here. Like I said. So 
your hiding time. Go away, you big nasty dinosaur. Or whale. Or man moaning into a pipe. Or whatever you are. These are pretty conspicuous. What's that creaking sound? Probably have a big hamstring blade on them. I'm not here. Go away. It's very useful, but Daniel is only scared if he looks at them, not if he hears them creaking and such. He can just study this wall. Fuck her off. Not playing the terror meter. So I guess it hasn't seen me. But it certainly doesn't want to leave, does it? Yes, I know you're there. This one actually doesn't despawn unless you get far enough away. So I'm just going to make a run for it. Oh, I get killed. Here it comes. Are going to get me? over that pillar. I had trouble jumping onto it. And I don't feel safe trying to do it until the brute is gone. I can hear it creaking. Well, I'll see you in the next part.